next order we're gonna take a look at is Hemiptera, or the true bugs. And so Hemipterans are known for having um, half of their wings be hardened. So like we talked about the beetles earlier where the whole front pair of wings are hardened and look like a shell. And so for this group of animals, they half of their wing is hardened. Also, they're well known for uh, having a sharp beak at the front of their face or rostrum, and they use that to feed on plants or animals. So our first Hemipteran we're gonna learn about is the two-spotted assassin bug, which we can tell it's got two-spotted name from those two spots on its back. Um, also, this is a carnivore. It's a hunter, and so that's why we call it an assassin bug. It's got long legs, it's very mobile, and what it does is it sneaks up on its prey and then stabs it with this long beak that it has in front. Right now, that's just tucked up under his face, but he can extend that forward and then jab his prey and inject a little bit of venom and slurp it up like a bug smoothie. So these guys live in a forest habitat. There's lots of other bugs running around in there like cockroaches and crickets, which are their prey items. And those are fast prey items. So that means these guys also need long legs so they can move quickly um, and stealthily. And then that, that long beak in front that they can extend forward, they're able to dart that forward very quickly so they can capture that prey. So let's put this guy away and we'll take a look at our other hemipterans that are aquatic. It's probably hard to see them. Well, this one's swimming, so that's nice and easy, but they blend in really well with this stick. Um, so this is also a stealth predator, kind of like the mantids. And the other thing that we notice about them is just like the mantids, they have a raptorial front pair of arms. That way they can grab their prey very suddenly. So that's what we call convergent evolution, is when two animals that don't have the same ancestor develop a similar trait because they occupy the same type of niche, which is stealth hunting and sudden grabbing. So the reason we call water scorpions water scorpions is not because they have a tail with a stinger at the end, but a tail that they can breathe through. It's kind of like a snorkel on their butt. <laughs> so that snorkel butt is the way that they can breathe oxygen from the surface, but also stay hidden underwater and not expose themselves to predators. So our last uh, specially adapted bugs that we're gonna talk about are the cockroaches, which is the order Blatodia. And the first one that we're gonna talk about is actually a common feeder cockroach if you own bugs bugs or reptiles that like to eat roaches. These guys come from South America and we can see that they're a variety of browns and tans. And so this is gonna help them to camouflage uh, in their forest floor leaf litter type of habitat. So they're designed to blend in, be underneath the leaf litter, nothing sees them to hunt them. In contrast to that, I also brought a box of question mark cockroaches. These are native to India. They're very beautiful. I think they're cuter than most people would expect a roach to be. And these are black and white. That's not gonna help them camouflage at all. In fact, they actually want to stand out to their predators. And what these guys are doing is mimicking a ground beetle that also lives in their habitat, which tastes bad and might also be able to spray acid. So that is their survival technique. If you like the video, like it, subscribe so you can see more videos about bugs in the future. If you have any questions about what we learned about today or any bugs in general, leave those in the comments below or come visit us at the Butterfly Biosphere and ask us in person. Thanks, see you next time.